Okay. Pack two here. We have Marshall Coop. Um, Rupture Spire. Dramatic Visions. And that's it. So there's not a whole lot for us. So if it was a crappy rare, I'd probably take either Traumatic Visions or Rupture Spire. Uh, but this is a game winning rare. So we're definitely going to take uh, the Marshall Coup. And be very, very happy about that. Hopefully we'll just get there with it. Because that's a bomb, you know. Sure, I'll sweep all your dudes and, you know, gain five, five dudes. Maybe more, you know, if, if you get it late game. Foil Guafa. Not too exciting. Cumberstone I like. Actually, fairly decent card. Uh, there's Brackwater. Armillary Sphere. And, of course, Dragdown. So we may get a couple of these things to table. Um, I like the Dragdown. And I like the Sphere. I think those are... Well, I could consider Brackwater as well. Um, hmm. I like removal. Let's see uh, where we are. Our bird may cost. We don't really have very many two drops. We have a lot of threes. Um, I think we'll take the drag down. I like removal. Alright, we got our drag down our military sphere uh, situation here. I'm also looking at this traumatic visions. Which will kind of help a little more than the Armillary Sphere. But then again, Armillary Sphere kind of helps us more. Um, and it's in our artifact for our... Um, where are you? Master of Ethereum. So I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, Armillary Sphere this time. I could take another drag down. But I I want some fixing. So that's Armillary Sphere is a really good fixing. Wow! <laughs> Another armillary sphere. Jeez, I'm not taking that. Dark Lake Argoil can be really good, especially if you get like uh, you know, an exalted trigger in there. Um, don't really see anything else. Maybe Skyward Eye Profiteers. I think that's yeah, profits. Uh, but we're not necessarily splashing green yet. I'm going to take the Dark Lake Gargoyle. Okay. This this is looking good. Alright. We got one of my favorite cards. Greeks the Slave Driver. Um, we got Wretched Banquet and Vidalcan Outlander as well. But uh, the Vidalcan Outlander may or may not table. Probably not. Um, maybe the Salvage Slasher may table. But I don't know if we'd want to play that. Greeks the Slave Driver is just so good. Uh, getting two twos. Yeah. He's really good in draft. People really just don't understand how good he is. So I'm going to take him. That's Brazoa, huh? I don't know how many artifacts that we have to really bounce, but... Um... He can be good. He's a solid 4-3. There's not really anything else for us here. Maybe the bone saw will table. <laughs> so we're going to take the Esprazoa. Um, Wretched Banquet seems like the pick here. There is this guy for the Exalted Trigger for our Dark Lake Gargoyle, but... Uh, can you ever have too much removal? Mm, not really. Salvage so Slasher might be good for our, um, you know, Esperzo that we picked up. But I can see one of those tabling. And we're not going to play more than one, probably. 
We will play more than one Dark Lake Gargoyle, though. Alright, let's see. We have nothing that we really want. So... Um... We're probably not going to play that anyway, so I guess we're just going to take a card that we're not going to play. <laughs> Foil rare, huh? Morley Council, Court Monculus. So do I want a 2-2 two -two or a X-0? This might be better for our... Um, artifact deck, so I'm just gonna go with that. I don't really want to take cards because of rarity. Uh, that's not what you would do in a top eight situation, so I'm not gonna do it. Bomb Giver is okay. It's eh, probably not that great for our deck, but we'll try them out. Uh, I mean, we'll take them. Alright, unsummon our Vexus Agents. We kind of have a lot to do with turn 5. Well, I think we're going to have better plays than Vexus Agents. So I'm going to take the unsummon because I like tricks. And I knew one of the Salvage Slashers would come back. And sure, we'll take the Grixis Illusionist. And we'll get another Salvage Slasher? Sure. So, 